We've been supporting parks for over 20 years um, throughout Africa. Um, the Virunga National Park, we've been supporting it for, uh, since um, 1988. I think what I thought was absolutely fascinating was the, the structure, the expertise um, that these people have, the, the professionalism, be it on security, be it on um, the energy production, be it on how to actually combine um, grant funding that we provide as the European Union and um, private foundations, but also now outreaching to getting financing from um, financial institutions. You have to actually be there to see it, to really understand um, what's going on, what these people are doing to protect not only the park, I mean these, these beautiful open spaces, but also these very, very poor populations around the park that really need the income. Um, and if you don't find a way to create a different sort of economic model in a country where um, several civil wars or either internal but also the displacement of people from, from Rwanda um, and not only in 1996 but since the 1960s have created these population movements that have had huge impacts on this, on this region. So providing an alternative economic pattern to the region that helps stabilise a whole region is fascinating. I'd been there as a child. Um, I grew up partially in, in, in Africa um, and going to national parks is what we did at the weekend. That was, you know, how we used to relax as a family. Um, and I've always loved it, um, but it's always been in the past, you try and protect the park, you try and protect the animals, you don't think about the population. It's only when I went to, to Chad as, as a young civil servant and I was lucky enough to go again to visit Zakuma National Park that you started to see talking to the, to the two experts, Nuria um, and her husband, that we were starting to engage with the local population and make sure that they weren't excluded. Now, going to see Virunga, there you see it, you know, being upscaled to a completely different level um, with the population becoming really the center um, and making sure that they get the, um, an income out of the park, they're not losing money, they're actually making it, that we're making their lives better. And it's really interesting to see how over, you know, I don't know, a 30, 40 year period, um, the attitude towards parks has completely changed from what I remember as a child um, to what I'm seeing now uh, as a head of units um, for DEVCO.